So this is the next question that is analyze the Bode plot shown in the figure below to estimate the transfer function. Okay. So this is the Bode plot they have given here. Okay. We should be observing this Bode plot very carefully and you should be trying to write the data and we should be trying to estimate the transfer function in this case. Okay. So this is one very interesting yet tricky problem. Okay. You, but you would be understanding it very thoroughly because I am going to explain it in you in such a way. So this is the Bode plot which I have drawn here. So here what you know they have given is they have given one 40 dB reference line here. So this is one 40 dB reference line here. Okay. And they have also given this 0 dB line. And also they have given this gain margin that is 16 dB. Okay. So this is the gain margin that they have given. Okay. And one more thing that they have given is one is 20 dB line. And from this point it would be changing to my, uh, minus 40 dB per decade slope. And from this point it again gets changed to minus 20 dB per decade slope. And from this point again it gets changed to minus 40 dB per decade load. As you know that from corner frequencies only it would be the slopes would be getting changed. So what if so wherever the change in slope we observe from that point uh, drop one line here and here we get the corner frequencies in this case. Okay. But here in this first corner frequency they have not mentioned the value of corner frequency that we should be finding out. But in the second case from this point the change in slope is occurring. They have given the corner frequencies. Actually they have not given the corner frequency. They have given the gain crossover frequency in this case. But here this is also equal to corner frequency only because here from this point the slope is getting changed okay and this is one more corner frequency if we check from this point here we will be getting one more corner frequency in this point we will be getting one more corner frequency that is omega c3 okay that I am going to tell you how the values are going and okay and from this point it gets changed okay yeah so now first what we should be doing is in order to estimate the transfer function first we should be finding the value of k okay that is we know that in generally the transfer function is obtained this is the general form of transfer function that is k into 1 plus tas into 1 plus tbs and it goes on divided by s power j into 1 plus t1 of s into 1 plus t2 of s and it goes on okay this, since this is the general form first we should be trying to find the value of k it is simple that is we should be taking 20 log k is equal to 40 since they have given the 40 db reference line so that's why we know that this reference line is calculated like this 20 log of k is equal to 40 so log of k is equal to 20 by 40 that is 2 so k is equal to anti log of 2 that is k is equal to 10 to the power 2 that is k is equal to 100 okay so one first part is done that is they have calculated the value of k so now what we should be doing is first we should be trying trying to find the corner frequency that is the first initial corner frequency since it is starting the slopes are getting starting to change from zero uh, zero radians per second so first corner frequency is zero radians per second and since the slope is getting changed to from this point it is getting changed to minus 20 db per decade so we can conclude that it is a pole because we know that in case of pole the change in slope is always the slope is always minus 20 db per decade and in case of zero it is plus 20 db per decade so that's why this is 1 by s since it is 0 radian per second so we don't have any value of t so that's why it is 1 by s okay and it is a pole so like this we should be concluding first step and now omega c2 that is omega c1 that is this frequency corner frequency how now you would be asking the question that how i have written this as 0.5 radian per second so now i am going to explain you that how i have written it okay see here so i am going to explain you with this graph here so how i have written it so here so this is the value of uh, this is 1 radian per second and this is 5 radian per second okay yeah so this i am going to explain later first what i have done is since we have they have given the 40 db uh, uh, 40 db line and also the change in slope from this point up to this point is 40 db per decade so what we can conclude is and it is touching the, uh, this and this it's getting touching to this uh, uh, at uh, correctly at exactly at 0 db what we can say is this is exactly one decade okay this uh, from this point up to this point is exactly one decade since it is a 40 db line and from this point from this point it is a touching exactly to 0 db and also this they have given it as this is 40 db per decade slope so we can conclude that this is since this is 40 db so that's why this is also 40 db okay from here to here 
this is 40 db and also from 40 to this is 40 db then also this change in slope is 40 db per decade so they can conclude that this is one decade okay so now when this is one decade they've already given the value of five okay you see so if we check this graph so this is the value of uh, here they have already given the value of here if you uh, extend here this is the value of five here that is five radians per second if you extend here this is five radians per second and also since we know that one decade means it's its range is since this is one decade right so if from this five up to the first five this would be one decade okay so if we know that if we knew that this is one decade and here the value of frequency is 5 radian per second and we can say that from this since this is 0 0.1 up to 1 so we can conclude that this point is 0 0.5 radian per second so that's why if we stretch this line here we would be getting the frequency as 0 0.5 radian per second so that's why like this you should be trying to find the values of the first uh, the first corner frequency omega 1 okay they have not given it we should be finding it okay so that's why we have, have written it as 0.5 radian per second okay and the change in slope is 40 db minus 40 db per decade since uh, again from from minus 20 it is getting changed to minus 40 if we know that when we add minus 20 db per decade uh, we would be getting minus 40 db per decade so that's why it is a pole again okay then again now since they have given uh, they have given the valid uh, cross uh, corner frequency that is 0.5 radian per second the relationship between uh, corner frequency and time is t1 is equal to 1 by omega c1 so that's why 1 by 0.5 we would be giving you 2 so then uh, since it is a pole we should be representing as 1 divided by 1 plus t1 of s since the, the poles are always in the denominator side so that's why 1 divided by 1 plus substitute the value of 2 1 plus 2s okay so in the next case omega c2 is equal to 5 radian per second since they have given here that is the omega c2 from this point it is the slope is getting changed to from minus 40 db per decade to minus 20 db per decade okay then so write the change in slope as minus 20 db per decade since now here in this case it is a zero because initially the slope was at minus 40 db per decade if we add plus 20 db per decade to it then we would be getting the slope as minus 20 db per decade right so we know that plus 20 db per decade is a zero so that's why this is a zero which we obtain so again apply the relation t2 is equal to 1 by omega c2 1 by 5 you would be getting it as 0 0.2 and this we should be writing it as 1 plus t a of s that is in the numerator part okay since this is the first term in the numerator 1 plus t a of s since we know that zeros always come and uh, come in the numerator so 1 plus t a substitute the value of t a s 0 0.2 s okay similarly the omega c3 that is this point this corner frequency okay this from this point you should be checking the corner frequency what we have got here this, which, which what is the corner frequency we have got here but here they have given the uh, gain margin they have not given the directly they have not given the corner frequency so now i will explain this now and also they have given the uh, slope as uh, minus 20 db per decade okay so now again we need some of the explanation for this how it is because so here see see from this point up to the next five right the next five of next column we can say that this much is one decade right and this is 20 db but they have given initially the value of uh, the gain margin that from this point to this point as 16 db so what we should be doing is so this is 20 db this is 18 and this is 16 so from this 16 db wherever this uh, 20 db slope touches this 16 db mark that 16 db and from that we should be marking the 16 db plot so now in which frequency it touches that we should be checking now so here uh, what is the value of frequency in this point here so this is 5 radian per second this is 10 radian per second from so this is 11 this is 11 this is 12 and this is 13 and here it is around 13.4 radian per second so that's why here in this case the value of this corner frequency here is 13 13.4 radian per second okay like this i've explained you since from this point to the next five this is one decade from this you have drawn one slope of 20 db per decade since this slope is of 20 db per decade here so that's why and now since they have given the gain margin as 16 db here so that's why 
from uh, this is uh, 16 db since this is this whole thing is 20 db and this is 2018 and here we have it is divided into 10 divisions if you see here okay so if we divide if we remove two of the divisions this would be the value of 16 db here okay that 16 db from this in this line where it touches that 16 db should be marking and from that point you should be checking about the what is the value of the frequency okay so here the here i've directly i've drawn the line here so that's why here the value is 13.4 radian per second so like like that's why we are getting the answer as 13.4 radian frequency radian per second as the third corner frequency okay then here again the change in slope is from minus 20 it's getting changed to minus 40 db per decade so that's where we can change that say, say that if we add minus 20 db per decade we would be getting this answer as minus 40 db per decade and since it is minus 20 then you can say that is a pole then again t3 is equal to 1 by omega c3 1 by 13.4 that is approximately you are getting it as 0 0.074 okay since it is a pole that then it should be representing it as 1 divided by 1 plus t2s okay it since pole comes in the denominator side that is 1 divided by 1 plus 0.074s okay like this we have got the some of the terms here now we should be writing all of them in terms of a transfer function that is general form since the value of k we have got it as 100 so i have written 100 first into we have got one zero right we have got one zero term that is 1 plus 0.2s right 1 plus 0.2s so 100 into 1 plus 0.2s divided by the first pole is at the origin since you have seen that we have got one frequency as 0 radian per second so it is 1 by s okay so i have written here 1 by s here into the second uh, pole is at uh, 0.5 radian per second and here we have got 1 divided by 1 plus 2s so that's why i have written it as 1 divided by 1 plus 2s into the third pole is 1 divided by 1 plus 0.074s okay so like this we would be getting our final transfer function okay so this was that problem very tricky problem yet very easy problem you, if you try to analyze this body plot you can easily find the answer okay so this was the transfer function here so please note it down